The Bible says. For I know that in me. In, this is an apostle. That's right. God called. God sent. God, sent. God made. God taught. Yeah. God appointed. Nice. God appeared unto this apostle here. That's right. And said, I have appeared unto thee for this purpose to make thee a minister. That's right. And a witness. And a witness. And if this man can be honest with himself, yes. what about you? That's right. Do you hear this? For I know. I know. That in me. In me. One, one, I was watching one broadcast. Yeah, come on. Minister Farrakhan. Uh -huh. He said, am I saying that I'm perfect? He said, I most certainly am free of all sin. That's a lie out of hell. <laughs> That's a lie. Never been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Never had the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue in his life. In his life. And he declared that he is perfect, free from all sin. Free from it. Free from it. My Lord. That's a lie so deep out of hell, I wonder how did it get out. That's right. Here was the Apostle Paul here. Amen. He says, I know that in me, in me, that is in my flesh, in my flesh, dwelleth no good that's thing. That's why I don't look down on nobody. That's right. You that are watching, you think I look down on you because I preach against sin. I'm supposed to do I'm it. Supposed to do it. That's I'm right. sent to do it. That's right. But I am not sent to look down on you. No. Thank God for that half the crowd against your wrong. That's right. Eh? For I know that in me, in me that dwelleth. is in my flesh. Where? In my flesh. What is it? Dwelleth no good thing. Nothing good there? No good thing. Mm -hmm. All right, go back to where we were now. Back in Job. I want to just take my time and soak you real good. That's right. That's right. All right. Back in Job 28 and verse 28. Uh -huh. And unto man he said, Behold the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord. That is wisdom. That is wisdom. And to depart from evil. And to depart from evil. Is understanding. The fear of God now, as I have said on many occasions, have left That's right. the people. That's right. It's not in the churches. No. Mm -mm. No, no. No respect for God's law. No. Don't want to hear God's law. That's right. And if you tell them what God say, you're going to have a fight out of them. There is no fear of God. Do you hear that? In the book of Romans chapter 3 and at verse There 18, is no fear of God. Before their eyes. Before their eyes. Now we know that what things soever the law saith. What is it? It saith to them who are under the law. Do you hear that? That's right. The Bible says, you that among you that fear God. That's right. Is the word of this That's salvation right. sent. That's right. You that fear God. That fear God. I fear God. Oh, yes. Nice. I fear him a lot. Oh, Wonderful. yes. Amen. Amen. Oh, yes. Now, because there's wickedness in you, that don't mean you don't fear God. That's, That's right. right. Let me just get that straight now. Yeah. That's right. Amen. The God Almighty, he is the judge of all things, but he knows where man is lacking and man is lacking oh, in yes. so many areas. So many. That's right. What did he say there? There is no fear of there God. There is no fear of God. Before their eyes. Before their eyes. Now we know that what things soever the law says. What? It says to them who are under the law. What else? That every mouth may be stopped. And? And all the world may become guilty before God. How much of the world is guilty? All the world. Nobody's innocent. That's right. All the world. Viewers, you that are here. That's right. You're not innocent, innocent at all. At all. Everybody is guilty. That's right. Now, some folks say, I didn't do this. I didn't do that. <laughs> I'm not like him. Mm. Oh, I'm not like her. But the Bible says. All the world. How much of it? All the world. Everybody. May become guilty before God. All the world. That's why I declared everybody have to repent now. Everybody. That's right. That's I don't right. care who you are. That's right. All the world all is the guilty world. before God because the world is all in sin. That's right. From pulpit down. There is none that understandeth. There is none that understand. Now in Romans chapter 3 and verse 11. Yes. There is none that seeketh after God. None that seek after God. They are all gone out of the way. What? 
They are all gone out of the way. Look at you, viewers. Amen. Smoking and drinking and gambling and partying and murdering one another. I look over there at the Gaza Strip. Mm. Yeah. You leaders, that's head of countries, yeah. that's afraid to speak out against Israel. That's right. Hamas was wrong that's right. for declaring war on Israel. Yes, they were wrong. Yes. But it did fulfill the scriptures. That's right. War. There shall be wars and rumors, rumors of, wars. of wars. That's right. Israel retaliated. Mm -hmm. Bible says Hagar mm -hmm. is Arabia. It's Arabia. Yeah. And Sarah is Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Amen. Hagar and Ishmael mm -hmm. have the same father. For it is written. Listen. Now in the book of Galatians chapter 4 and verse 22. What is it? For it is written. It's written. That Abraham had two sons. Abraham had two sons. One by a bondmaid. One by a bondmaid. The other by a free woman. Free woman. But he who was of the bondwoman was born after the flesh. That's Ishmael. Ishmael. Uh -huh. But he of the free woman was by promise. Do you hear that? That's Isaac. Which things are an allegory? Yes. For these are the two covenants. Yes. The one from the Mount Sinai, which gendereth to bondage. And what? Which is Agar. For this Agar is Mount Sinai in Arabia. Yes. And answereth to Jerusalem, and which now is. And to Jerusalem is what? Which now is. Which now is. And is in bondage with her children. Mm. These are brothers and sisters by blood. That's right. They have the same father, which is Abraham. Abraham. Israel went beyond declaring war. Yes. Against Hamas. That's right. Israel is declaring genocide. That's right. For Mr. What's his name? Netanyahu. <laughs> he declared he wanted to destroy all the Palestinians. That's right. He went beyond Hamas. He went beyond. That's right. He want all the Palestinians. That's genocide talk. That's right. Now, bombing hospitals, mm. refugee camps. Mm -hmm. Neighborhoods, churches, yeah. mosques, that has nothing to do with a mosque. No. And Biden, because he's so scared and devilish weak, yeah, that's he won't call it for what it is. Right. Israel is committing murder. Murder. You know, uh, the Secretary of State, Blinken. Mr. Blinken, he said that he don't want Al Shazir. That's the news channel I watch moreover oh, yes. on YouTube. It'll give you the best coverage. He said that Al Shazir shouldn't cover the war in mm. such detail. That's the devil out of hell. Yes. The press that work with Al Shazir is being killed. Mm. They are murdering the press. Mm. They are killing civilians. My Lord. That's just running for their lives. Babies. Mm. They are blowing babies' head off. My Lord. Bodies are laying out in the street of women mm. and men. Africa came to their senses and withdrew their support of Israel. Amen. All the countries, mm. the Palestinian life is just as important as the life as the Jews. That's right. Anytime you put the life of a Jew in, hear me good. Right. Above the life of the Palestinian people. Right. And here it's God says he have no respect, no respect of person. Of persons. Use a hypocrite. That's right. That's right. For the whole world. 
That's right. And God eyes all the world. Do you hear this? Back in Romans 3 and verse 19. All the world may become guilty before God. They are guilty. Guilty. Hamas murdered Jewish brothers and sisters. Amen. Jewish brothers and sisters murdered Palestinians. That's right. Who's better? Who's better? That's right, Amen. Jane. I said, who's better? What then are we better than they? Do you hear this? Now in Romans chapter 3 and verse 9. I'm going to give you a Bible for this. Nine. Romans chapter 3 and verse 9. What then? Are we better than they? Are we here's a Here's a Jew talking. Here's a Jew. Pastor Paul, a Hebrew of the Hebrews. That's right. Came out the tribe that gave Israel their first king. That's right. And was stopped, thank God, on the road to Damascus. Yeah. Light, hallelujah. Shining from heaven above the brightness of the sun. That's right. And God spoke to Brother Paul. Yeah. And Saul said, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I'm Jesus whom thou yes! persecutest. That's right. It is hard for thee to kick against the prick. Amen. Now listen at this. Romans chapter 3 and verse 9. Apostle Paul said, What then? What then? Are we better than that? Are we better than anybody else. No. No. In no way. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You Jewish brothers and sisters, you're not better than the Palestinians. And anyone say they are, you are liars. That, that's a lie. I see you uh, out there demonstrating around America and Europe. That's right. Save Israel. All right. <laughs> Others of you, save Palestine. All right. All right. What am I saying? Save your soul. Yeah! That's it. That's right. That's right. All right. Thank God, whether you are Jew or Greek, bond or free, there's one thing for everybody to do here. For we have before proved. Do you hear that? Still in Romans 3 and verse 9. We have before proved. Both Jews. Both Jews. And Gentiles. Palestinians. At both Jews and Gentiles. Both Jews and Gentiles that get Palestinians. That's right. That they are all under sin. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Do you hear that? For we have before proved. We have before proved. Both Jews. That the Jews. And Gentiles. And every other ethnic group in the world. That they are all under sin. They are what? All under sin. I'm not leaning to nobody. <laughs> That's right. I stand neutral with Bible. That's it. Nice. Mr. Netanyahu. That's and right. You can quote all the Old Testament Bible that you want. That's right. If you don't repent of your evil. Right. Amen. And be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, right. which is the name of Jehovah. That's right. Tarry until God fill you with the Holy Spirit. That's the Holy Ghost, you know. That's right. And walk with what God declared. That's right. You will never, never. step two inches. Mm -hmm. Thank God into the kingdom of God. For we have before both proved both Jews and Gentiles. I am declaring from God's word. That's right. That's right. We the have Jews before. out here marching up and down. Save Israel. Say yes. Yeah, save them. Save them. Others of you save Palestine. Yeah, I agree. Save them. That's right. The hostages are on both sides. That's right. On both sides. That's right. Both of you are guilty. That's right. All the Palestinians world. that took hostages and the Jews that took hostages, both of you. That's right. Are evil. That's right. Amen. You Amen. preachers that's trying to side with Israel and think you will be blessed, you will go to hell. Yes, you will. You better, here's Moses, you that is on the Lord's side, that's right. you better give me that quickly now. Yeah. I am not on the side of Israel. I am not on the side of Palestine. I'm going to show you whose side I'm on. That's right. Bible says, you that is on the Lord's side, Come to, me. Come to me. So I stand neutral. Hallelujah. Neutral here. With God. And God's word. Telling the Palestinians. And the Jews. 
You have to come back to Scripture. Yeah. If you can't find it, just give me what you got quickly now. In the book of Exodus chapter 32. All right. And verse 26. What is it? Then Moses stood in the gate of the camp. Yes. And said, who is on the Lord's side? That's what I want to know. Yes. That's right. Hallelujah. All of you nations that hear me. Amen. Don't, don't be on America's side oh, at no. all. No. <clears throat> don't be on the side of America. No. I'm not on America's side. Right. America is of the devil God knows. That's right. I am not on Israel's side at all. At all. Mm -mm. No. I am not on the side of the Palestinian. That's right. See, I have to deal with these things from Bible. That's right. Yes. Whose side you on, Pastor Jennings? I'm about to read it right now. Exodus 32 and verse 26. Says what? Who is on the Lord's side? What? Who is on the Lord's side? Oh, Rick. Hallelujah. Amen. You that is on the Lord's side, let him come unto me. Amen. Amen. Come on here. That's it. Don't go to Israel. Don't go to Gaza Strip. That's right. Israel, you're hypocrites. You're telling the Palestinians go to a certain part of Gaza. And then you bomb that part. That's How right. in the world they're going to run to another part and you're bombing the whole Gaza Strip? Amen. Amen. That's like me telling you, come on this side of the track. There's honey here. Yeah. And you come over here, there's nothing but bitterness and poison. That's right. Women with their babies That's right. running for their life. Oh, yes. And they're being bombed on that end like they're being bombed on this end. That's right. And uh, Mr. Biden said, well, we don't want a complete ceasefire. What do you mean? <laughs> We're going right. to pause. That's right. Anytime the world can stop <laughs> and take a break for Christmas. Mm. Am I right, I said? Go ahead. Go ahead. Every time war is going on in the world, <laughs> they stop shooting, stop bombing, That's true. stop killing for Christmas. That's right. Everybody take a day off. <laughs> That's right. To celebrate a lie. A lie. Amen. A lie has more value to you than life itself. That's right. Go back to where you are now. Back in Romans chapter 3 and verse 9. What Hear me then? good. What then? Are we better than they? Are we better than they? No. No. In no wise. In no wise. For we have before both proved both Jews and Gentiles. We have before. Proved. We have proved. Both Jews. That the Jews. And Gentiles. And the Gentiles. That they are all under sin. Amen. That's what I'm looking at. Yes. Oh, yes. Thank God I'm not looking at a strip of land. No. no. One of my engineers and contractors here is a Jew uh -huh. born in Israel. Yeah. And he called me the other day, last week, and we went over some things concerning the work here. He said, I have a personal question I want to ask you. What, right. what is your perspective? What's going on in Gaza? Mm -hmm. I said, I give you what the Bible said. That's right. I don't care nothing about you born in Israel. I'm no. going to point you to the Bible. That's it. The word of God that was here before there was in Israel. That's right. He said, I think America is behind. I said, oh, no, no. This is, this is one time America didn't start this. That's right. Her mouth admitted they started. Yeah. And Israel retaliated. Oh, yes. Now Israel went beyond the bounds of war. And I want to see how many heads of countries mm. call Israel and, and indict them Amen. for war crimes. That's right. Anytime Mr. Netanyahu said he wanted to kill all the Palestinians, yeah. well, that's just no better than Hitler's hand. He wanted to kill all the Jews. That's right. That's no better than racist Europeans That's right. saying they want to kill all black folk. Yeah. Language is the same. That's right. You don't look at 
whose mouth it came out of and then downplay it. You want to kill a whole people? That's genocide. That's right. As it is written, there is none as righteous. As it is written. Hallelujah. As, it, as is written, it is written here. There is none righteous. None. None righteous. Lord, thank God. I thank God for the word. Amen. It put everything in the right perspective. Oh, yes. There's none. There is none righteous. None that's right. No, not no, one. No, not one. There is none that understand. There's none that understand. There is none that seeketh none after God. None that seek after God. They are all gone out of the way. What did he say there? Romans 3 and verse 12. They are all gone out of the way. That's my argument. That's right. Yes. So I am not getting in no parade waving a flag for Israel. That's right. I am not getting in no parade waving a flag for Palestine. No. no. The only thing I'm going to wave is scripture. That's right. And when I wave scripture, don't take sides with nobody, with nobody. but with God. That's right. Who is on the Lord's side? Oh, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. hallelujah. On. Who is on the Lord's side? Let hallelujah. him come unto me. Come on here. That's it. Yes. Hallelujah. I'm calling for Israel. That's right. Thank God and every Palestinian that's walking on the earth. That's right. Come over here with God. With God. Amen. Amen. Lay down your guns. That's right. Lay down your bloodshed. That's right. Thank God and pick up scripture here. That's right. When you're on the Lord's side, that's it. You believe what He believes. Right. Amen. You are condone what He condones. He condones. And you won't stand for what He will not stand for. No. All right, go back to where you are, son. We'll go back in Job chapter 28 and verse 28. I want to take my time and soak them oh, good. Yeah. And unto man he said, Behold the fear of the Lord. That is wisdom. Now, uh -huh. the reason why the churches and the world is in the predicament that is in. Amen. No, no fear. fear. No fear of God. More and more and more. No fear. No fear. And they don't mind demonstrating the fear they don't have. That's right. Preachers don't fear God. I look at YouTube and some churches, different conventions coming on. So many conventions. I just click on women up in the pulpit. Click it off. <laughs> click on that church convention. Homosexual in the pulpit. Click it off. Click, click that off. Click on that church convention. Mm -hmm. Choirs up singing with little rainbow badges. Letting everybody know they just they condone homosexuality. Click that off. Click that off. That's right. Click on another church convention. Pulpit loaded with women preachers. Click it off. Click that off. No fear. No fear of God before their eyes. What God says now don't matter. Thank God in the ears. That's right. Of the people. That's right. That's why they want to silence this program. That's right. Many right men say, I'm just too hard. <laughs> Hell is harder than I am. Oh, yes. Hey, Amen. You're going to whip the God you was hearing this 24 hours a day when you are wrapped with the flames of hell. And they shall turn away. Burning, their burning, burning hollering, right. yelling, and never stop falling. That's right. All because you're too devilish stubborn to obey what I'm preaching. That's right. What did he say here? Second Timothy chapter four and verse four. What is it? And they shall turn away their ears from the they truth. They shall turn away their ears from the truth. From what's right. And shall be turned unto fables. They're doing it now. Oh yes. No, maybe it's all about it. They're doing it now. Oh yes. Amen. I travel the world and everywhere I go. People turning their ears from what's written. From they, the truth. Don't have to be baptized. Don't have to speak in tongues. Right. Don't have to believe Jesus Christ is God. Nothing wrong with women preachers. Nothing wrong with homosexuality. There's two gods now. There's three gods. That's right. The That's fear right. of God right. is gone. Gone. There's only a few people in the earth that fear God from the heart. That's right. Just a few. Just a few. And I'm thankful now that the truth of God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's part of that few. That's right. That's there right. are many thousands that's a part of this. Yeah. But the fear of God is here. Oh, yes. 
and it's preached here. Oh, yes. And it's going to stay here. That's right. And nobody's going to take it out of here. That's right. That's why I refuse to change. That's right. For anybody. For anybody. Oh, they have offered me so much. <laughs> and I always look at the offer and laugh. That's right, King. And I tell them, anytime you can beat what God offered me, I take it. That's right. No one came close yet. No. Amen. God offered me eternal life with him. Oh, yes. If you can beat that, I'll take it. Eternal life with him. No pain. Wipe my tears away. There's no sickness. And don't have to preach no more. Glory to God. That's right. The day of the Lord coming. That's right. If you can beat all that, i take what you said. Amen. Until then, I'm not enticed or lured or considered by nothing. By nothing. Anything you offer me, if it beats God, then uh, I, I, I think it over. Think it over. If it beats God. <laughs> That's right. Now, being that it won't beat, uh, beat God, I won't even consider it at no. all. No, no. All right, son, what is that? And they shall turn away their ears from the truth. They shall turn away their ears from the truth. And shall be turned unto fables. You know what a fable is? Amen. Something that somebody have made up. That's right. Fables have been passed down through generations. Oh, yeah. I remember when I was a child, I heard a whole lot of fables. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When a dove landed on your windowsill, somebody died. That's right. I don't care if you never see a dove, somebody still died. That's right. <laughs> I was told if you count 12 stars and go to the end of the block, you'll see a casket. Yeah. I tried it. I was young, I'll never forget it. Summertime. Beautiful, bright night, and count 12 stars. Yeah. I ran down the Old York Road and looked to my left and right. No casket. Amen. <laughs> I thought maybe it was on Broad Street. <laughs> so I took off. Ran up to Broad Street, no casket. Mm -hmm. Haven't counted the stars since. Amen. I was being lied to on both ends. That's right. They say you walk on a ladder, bad luck. Yeah. A, black cask, a black cat run past you, bad luck. Bad luck. Throw salt over your shoulder. That's supposed to be good luck, isn't it? I don't care if you throw salt on your head. Either you're blessed or cursed. That's right. Eh? That's right. I don't believe in luck at all. At all. Of no kind. I perceive that in all things. I perceive that in all things. You are too superstitious. You're just too superstitious. <laughs> That's right. What is it? For as I passed by and as beheld I your devotion. As I by and beheld your devotion. I found an altar I with this inscription. an altar with this inscription. To the unknown, to the unknown God, God. Whom therefore ye ignorantly worship. Wait a minute. How are the people worshiping God now? The ignorantly worship. Ignorant. 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 Ignorantly. Him, I declare I unto you. Declare That's it. unto you. God you, that you, made listen, the world. Listen, you ignorant folk. Ignorant. Yes. I'm trying by the help of God to get you to see there's one God and Jesus Christ is He. That's right. And you need to break off your sins and turn from your evil way and repent of your sins and go down in water in the name of Jesus Christ yes. and accept all of God's way. That's it. But you're too stubborn. Ignorant. Young man, you're too stubborn. Mm -hmm. You like it out there and drinking and smoking and gambling and partying and shooting and running the streets yes. all night long. Amen. You don't want God until you get in the hospital. Right. When you get in the hospital, then you want someone to sing a hymn. <laughs> That's right. Uh huh. That's right. You want your mother to give you a prayer book. Yeah. Because you're on your way to hell. That's right. She come give you a prayer book and you recite the prayers out the book. You never repent it for nothing. Repent. You can repeat every prayer that's in the book from cover to cover. Yeah. If you never repent, never hypocrite, repent. you're going to hell. That's right. That's right. That goes for you that are here. Oh yes. That are visiting today. Man or woman. Man or woman. You have one soul. That's right. You decide you're the, you, you can be your own boss now. Yeah. You decide what you want to do. That's it. 
Save your soul or die and be lost. That's it. Won't be nobody in hell tough. <laughs> no. You didn't know that? No. No, you, you won't be you're tough here. You're tough here. <laughs> you're stubborn here. Oh, yes. You're hard head here. That's right. You don't fear God here. That's right. When you go to hell, oh, yes. give me the book of Mark. Mm -hmm. Bible said, when thy hand offend thee, yes. cut it off. Cut it off. I want to show you this real good. Mm -hmm. Take my time and soak you a little. In the book of St. Mark chapter 9, and we're at verse 42. You're that here, follow me and hear me good. St. Mark chapter 9, we're starting at verse 42. You're that listening, get this. And whosoever shall offend one of these little ones that believe in me, yes. it is better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck, yes. and he were cast into the sea. Uh -huh. And if thy hand offend thee, cut it off. Now, let, let's break that down plain. And I want you to make that literal. <laughs> That's right. The hand is an important part of the body. That's right. I, I got a better understanding of that scripture God knows. Amen. You can do a lot with your hand. Oh, yeah. And when you fail to have usage of that hand or both hands, right. it's a miserable feeling. Oh, yes. So God says, if your hand offend you, cut it off. Offend you, that means this. If there's something in your life as close to you, and as important to you as your hand. As your hand. Cut it loose from it. That's right. That's right. I don't care what it is. That's right. To live with God, cut it loose from it. Cut it off. I don't care how hard it is. Mm -hmm. Cut it off. Cut it off. Nice. Now you that are looking and you that are here, you judge. That's right. right. What's in your life? That's close to you like your hand is. That's right. Valuable to you like your hand is. Important to you like your hand. That's right. And you don't want to get rid of it. Hmm. What does it mean to you? What does it mean? God of heaven says cut it off. Cut it off. Break it loose from it. That's yeah. right. And you all got something to break it loose from. Oh, yes. What is it? And if thy hand offend thee, cut it off. Cut it off. It is, better it is better for thee for to thee. enter into life maimed. <laughs> Glory to God. Nice. Now, better. being saved naturally, if they're going to bomb a building, and for me to escape, I'm stuck somewhere, yeah. and I have to cut my hand off mm. to escape out that building, I'm, I'm better Maimed. Maimed. And escaped out that building and have my life. That's right. Then they keep my hand and lose my life dying in the building. That's right. That's right. That's right. Now do you get me? Yeah. And if thy hand offend if thee. If your hand offend you. Cut it off. Cut it off. It is better for thee. It is better for thee. To enter into life maimed. Enter. Enter. Enter where? Into life. Life. Maimed. Amen. It is better for you to be saved. Without that... you love.
Then having two hands. Then to have the thing you love. To go into hell. And go to hell with it. Into the fire. Where you going? Into the fire. Where you going? Into the fire. How bad is it? That never shall be quenched. Amen. Get me. Oh, yes. Look at what's in your life. That's right. That's right. That you're holding so tight. So tight. Scared. You know you don't want God to come to catch you with it. That's right. You know you don't. That's right. But you don't want to surrender. Amen. It is better to go with God. It is better for thee. Empty handed. That's right. Yes. That's right. I'd rather go with God empty handed. That's right. Than to have everything in this world. Everything. And be in hell. Amen. Like the parable he made with the rich man. The rich man. Rich man was in hell. He cried out for water. Oh, yeah. Not for glass. Not for an ice cube. No. Thank God, not for a whole pitcher of water. No. He may dip the tip of his finger in Listen water. at this. In the book of St. Luke, chapter 16. And at Follow this, me in Yemen. St. Luke, chapter 16, we're at verse 22. What is it? And it came to pass that the beggar died. The beggar died. And was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. And what? The rich man also died and was buried. Uh -huh. And in hell. And hell. He lift up his eyes. Look, being, at, look at this parable. Look at yeah. this. And hell, he lift up his eyes. Being in torments. Wait a minute. What going to happen to you in hell? Being in torments. That let you know it ain't talking about the grave. No. You're not tormented in the grave. You, in fact, you, you aren't, you're unconscious. That's it. You don't know what's going on down there. No. That's right. Uh -huh. And in hell, he lift up his eyes, being in torment. Yes. And see if Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom. And? And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me. Uh -huh. And send Lazarus, that he may dip the that, tip. That he may dip. The tip of his finger in tip. water. The tip. The tip of his finger. In water. In water. And cool my tongue. Amen. Are you listening? That's yeah. right. Call my tongue off. For I am tormented. I'm tormented. In this flame. Mm. I'm hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm tormented where? In hey. this flame. Hallelujah. Burning. Yeah. In this flame. I am tormented. You don't want to give that thing up. You've got eternal hell to deal with. That's right. That's right. Fight baptism. Fight Holy Ghost, fight Jesus Christ as God, promote your damnable doctrine, but there is flame, flame, eternal flame. That's right. That's right. You got to stay there as long as God remain God. Yeah. Oh, yes. Viewers, what you're holding on to is just not worth it. It's not worth it. You that are here, it's just not worth it. That's right. Amen. That's right. You have all the money in the world, but it don't buy you out of hell. No. You can be as wealthy. I've met many wealthy people. Yeah. Not one yet made a bargain with the devil <laughs> that he uh, put him back on the earth. No way. After God put him in hell. Oh, no. Do you hear this? And he said, and he cried and said, Father Abraham, have Father mercy Abraham, on me. Father Abraham, have mercy on me. And send Lazarus. To do what? That he may dip the tip of his finger Don't, in water. Never mind a glass. No. Right. Tip of what are you asking for? The Relief. Tip. That's it. That's it. What are you asking for? Relief. Right. That he may dip the tip of his finger in water. Just dip it. And cool my tongue. Call off my tongue. For I am tormented. That alone let me know in hell mm. your body and go be prepared by the Lord yeah. where it will never burn up. That's right. That's All right. the feelings that you have now. Oh, yes. The hunger. The mm. thirst. Yeah. The agony. Mm. Glory to God the pain. That's right. You're going to Fill it every drop That's true. in hell. That's right. 
And a time the parable is made where he's asking for his tongue just to be touched. That's it. That's right. With water from the man's finger. And cool my tongue. Cool, cool me off. For I am tormented in this flame. I'm what? Tormented on, in this flame. I'm trying to keep you out of hell. <laughs> That's right. You can hate me much as you please or say what you want. I absolutely don't care. No. God Almighty is talking here through the Bible. That's right. Through the scriptures here. That's right. What he says. Father Abraham, have mercy. Have mercy. Me. Can you imagine you in hell? Have mercy. Have mercy. And you will never come out. Never. That's right. Never. Never. Never come out. All you're wrong mm. that you've done, that you never took time to repent for, That's right. you're going to remember. That's right. Yeah. That's right. The time you stole. Yeah. The time you murdered. The time you raped. That's right. The time you killed. The time you lied. Mm -hmm. the time you wouldn't listen to your parents. That's right. The time you ignored God's everlasting word. Amen. Amen. The time you ignored the advice that was given to you that was good and godly. Oh, yes. Time you spent fighting this yeah. program. Amen. That's right. Day after day, yeah, while right. the warning of God was falling, thank God from heaven. Yeah. Amen. While you're down in hell, you're going to remember all of it. Yeah. Remember. The Bible says, Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus. Send Lazarus. That he may dip, that he may dip the tip, of his, finger the in tip water. of his finger in water and cool my tongue. Cool my tongue. For I am tormented in this flame. I am tormented in this flame. But Abraham said, son, son, remember that thou in thy lifetime receivest thy good things. Do you hear that? Amen. Do you remember your lifetime received the good things? And likewise, Lazarus, evil things. Evil things. But now he is comforted. He is comforted. And thou art tormented. And you are tormented. And beside all this between there us gonna and be, you, there is a great yeah, goal. Yeah. There are going to be two sides. Two sides. Those that are comforted. That's right. Those that are tormented. That's right. The church will be with the comforter. Nice. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. You see, Jesus is the comforter. Jesus is the comforter. And the church is going to be with the comforter. That's right. Them that are tormented, you're going to be with the devil out of hell. With the devil. Young man and young woman, that's ignoring the sound of my voice. Moreover, fighting it. Your pastor's fighting it. 